rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. You bring up a, a verse for me, man. Uh, First Peter. Okay. Chapter four. Uh, Verse number one. First Peter. First Peter. Okay. Let me bring the script slides up for you. First Peter. Okay. One second. Some people tell this out their Bible. He said some people tear it out. And they do what? Chapter four. Yeah, some people tell this verse out of the Bible. You said you did say you did say first Peter, right? First Peter chapter four. Okay. Verse number one. All right. Yeah. All right. For, for yeah. as much. This is an admonition to us. Okay. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh. Uh-huh. Arm yourself. Uh-uh. <laughs> what the heck? Arm, arm yourself. Woo! Likewise with the same mind. Okay. For he that has suffered in the flesh uh-huh. Has ceased from sin. From sin. Okay. <laughs> you see, you see, that's why I say we 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 miss these subtle principles. Somehow God has has arranged this thing for ongoing dying, ongoing suffering in the flesh as the at the cost of obedience to him. Ah. Uh. When you go back to Romans, it yeah. says he that is dead, they talk about dead to the flesh, dead to sin in the flesh, is yeah. free from sin. Huh. So, go, so go, we go all go know back to that scripture, Pastor. Which one? It's and, and read the, the the very next verse. I think it's it it goes it, it will help. Go a little deeper, yeah. Yeah. It's for for two. It says that he no longer live the rest of his time in the flesh mm. to the lust of men. Okay. Amen. But to the will of God. So in order to do the will of God, uh huh, you must for one. <laughs> you you gonna have to endure some pain. You got to you got to endure some suffering. You might have well, listen. I ain't on that. Listen. Listen, there's another verse that says, not only is it given to us to, to reign with him, okay. but it's also given to us to suffer for his name. Yeah. Mm. Paul said, I don't want to just reign with him. I want to know him in the power of his resurrection. Woo! But I want to know him in the fellowship of his suffering. Yeah. yeah. And I submit to you that if you don't know him in his suffering, Woo. you don't even know him in his power. Mm. Yeah. So, so that ain't the that ain't see that ain't the discipleship that's been set in front of us. Okay, okay. It's set in front of us is the avoidance of pain, the avoidance of suffering. Yeah. We get in a painful situation and we start rebuking it. Woo! I, I uh, there, 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 I can honestly say that we are going to talk about in the name of Jesus. Yeah, we're we're not being taught this. We're really not. We're being taught the complete opposite of this. Yeah. That. <laughs> We're being taught to <laughs> to, uh, to 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 gain lust of the flesh. Woo! We're we're yeah. teaching lust of the flesh in the church. We're striving yeah. for lust it's of the flesh. It. It's it's, yeah. it's it, 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 you know we're being taught that the blessings of God is lusting after the flesh. Wow. Yes, it's in the completely opposite. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. It's it it that that has been made so plain right here, right now. I can't. If, I, if, if my grandbaby see that, 
he'll think that's the kingdom. Yeah. Wow. If he see if he see one that disciple him do that, he'll think that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. 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 yeah Cause that's how if they show up in Chinatown, and that's what they say that's Chinatown. That's what they're gonna expect it's supposed to be. They expect to see. They expect that what we see in Chinatown is what we see in China. So so <laughs> what we show you people. Know. We got a town in town. It's that it, we built it. <laughs> and then the I, king, I, I, except God build a house. The Ooh. labor of Wow. You know, yeah. But you know the thing that I think Ooh. we detach the reason for the suffering. Jesus Christ didn't die on that cross for nothing. And he, he didn't suffer in the flesh for, for no reason. And neither do we. There's a reason for it. You suffer in the flesh that life might be a part of to somebody else. Right. You suffer in the flesh because you them to see the kingdom. And it, and it had to be demonstrated to you. Mm -hmm. The inherent response to a person witnessing the kingdom is to, to try to put it out. The light is supposed to be put out. Men hate light. So they love darkness. So anytime the light turns on, when the prophets came, when the when the people came that were of God, they crucified these people, they fed them to the lions. Uh -huh. Even in this day, even if you don't accept Jesus Christ as the divine, the, the, the image of God or the only begotten Son of God, why is he so, what's the word, um, despised among men? Uh -huh. What does he do that's so wrong that men don't want to be in his company? Wow. I mean, honestly speaking, and, and, and we go there all the time. It's like, why are you trying to push Christ out of this environment, out of this environment? Why do you want to turn away from the here or there? It's not because of what Christ is doing. It's because of what we want to do in our deeds of evil. Yeah, yeah.